What's going on everybody? This is Phil from Millennial Money Games and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to be going over three super high growth dividend stocks that are at buys right now in my opinion. If you guys are hyped for this video, please make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you want to join the family, we post here every Sunday and every Tuesday. And you guys can follow my dividend journey with my own portfolio. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. We are growing as a family. And I want to hear about your journey as well. So comment down below how your journey is going. And let me know what you guys think about these stocks. Now let's hop right into the first one that needs no introduction. And that is none other than Apple. Ticker symbol is AAPL. The reason Apple has made my list, I know you're going to say this is not a dividend stock, I get it. These three stocks that I'm talking about today do not pay super high dividends at all. They are very high growth, small dividend payers. So that's the type of video we're going for. That's the kind of vibe we're going for. So Apple is currently up 25% in the past year. But going back to the six month chart, Apple is just up about 3.5%. And now the one month chart, Apple is down almost 10%. So it's currently sitting at $154.73 at the time I am making this video. And I do believe that it has the opportunity to drop a little bit further. And let's just take a look at the dividend stats on Apple. We're not, not going to be whole in-depth analyses because you guys should all know these companies. These are just the companies that I'm looking at to lower my dividend yield and get a little bit more high growth into my portfolio. So Apple pays a 0.57% dividend. They have an annual payout of $0.88 cents per share with a very small ratio payout ratio of 14.32%. They have a five-year dividend growth rate of 9.07% and dividend growth for the past nine years. They do pay a quarterly dividend of $0.22 cents per share. So the thing about Apple with me, I do believe Apple will be a dividend beast in the future. Apple is such a big company and I really do think they are going to be continuing to grow this dividend. If you look here, they do grow their dividend at a very small rate, but they do grow their dividend. And any cr increase in dividends from Apple is really a huge dividend raise just because it grows so much with the share price as well. So every time the share price goes up, the dividend yield goes down. So when we get these dividend raises, it's really important to take that the growth factor into account. So now that's Apple. That's our first stock on the list. I currently do own Apple in my portfolio. It is getting to be a larger position in my portfolio, which I'm very excited about. I really want to add more to it because I do want to make this one of my largest positions in the portfolio. Next up, we have Visa. Ticker symbol is V. Now, you guys know I've talked, spoken about Visa a bunch of times on the channel. Visa currently down almost 12% in the past year, currently trading at $196.71 at the time I am making this video. In the past six months, it is down about 12.43%, and in the past month, we are down about 13.5%. So I do think it is a good time to get into Visa. Now let's hop over and look at their dividend. So they do pay a dividend yield of 0.76%. They have an annual payout of $1.50 per share with a payout ratio of a very small as well, 22.06%. They have a whopping five-year dividend growth rate of 17.91% with dividend growth for the past 13 years. They pay a quarterly dividend of 38 cents per share. And Visa is definitely a play that I definitely want to get into. With this recent drop, with its dropping in the past few months and even over the past year, I guess, it has really shown me that it recovers pretty quickly. So I definitely want to get in on this little downturn right here that we have because I do think this is a great price for Visa. We can see it. We may see it come a little bit lower just because of everything that is going on. So we can see this price drop consistently over the next couple of weeks and months maybe. But I definitely do want to get started in a position of Visa. Let's take a look at their dividend growth rate. As you can see, we have that consistent dividend growth rate. And getting an 18% every five years dividend raise is really awesome because you're not going to find that in a lot of stocks. So 18% is huge in my opinion. Now getting to the last stock of the day. It is none other than Microsoft. Ticker symbol is MSFT. 
currently trading at $280.07 at the time I am making this video. Now, just like Apple, this is a huge company, the second biggest company that is in the world, right? It's up almost 20% on the year. In the past six months, it is down about 5.7%. And in the past month, it is down about 7.1%. Once again, I think it is a pretty decent price with Microsoft. We can, with everything going on with inflation and interest rates, we probably will see lower prices than Microsoft. But it is a pretty good time to start a position in this company if you are looking at Microsoft. Let's check out their dividend. So they do pay a highest yield out of the three stocks, which is 0.89%. They have a the highest payout ratio of as well, which is 26.61%, with an annual payout of $2.48 per share. They have a five-year dividend growth rate of 9.49%, pretty comparable to Apple, with dividend growth for the past 18 years. They do pay a 62 cent dividend per share on a quarterly basis. Now let's hop right into their dividend history. So for me, I do use Microsoft products. So this is one that I am, was very interested in for a while and I held off because of how overvalued I thought it was. But now with the recent dip in price, I do think it is sitting at pretty close to fair value in my opinion. So it came down from highs of just around $345. So sitting at $280 right now, I do think that is at a pretty decent price. It still has a PE ratio of about 30, which is a little higher than what I usually like to get into. But for buying into the second largest company in the world, just like Apple, the first largest company in the world, you may have to pay a little bit of a premium. So Microsoft is my third stock that I will be looking to add to the portfolio. Now, obviously, I'm not going to add all of these at once, but these are the... the the three that I'm really trying to dive into, Apple I already own, Visa I definitely want to own, and Microsoft I definitely want to own, and it is getting towards that point. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you want to join the family, hit that subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate everyone that does hop on board because we are creating wealth and taking names. Right, so I hope everyone did enjoy it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.